All right, welcome to Monday. It's time for the Hacker News, and what you heard right there was the stream that the FBI listens to quite frequently, I might add, hacksradio.com. Big shout-out to Mr. E and the crew. All kinds of stuff to tell you about. First one, uh, maybe good. Paste been censored. Anonymous launches Anon Paste uncensored. Anonymous and the People's Liberation Front have launched a totally secure and safe alternative to Pastebin, a site used by hacktivist collective to dump data recovered from hacks and on pace for people to post uncensored documents and files without compromising their identities. Shared content can be set to expire after 10 minutes, an hour, a day, a month, a year, or never. In addition, the site promises to remain advertising free and unmoderated maintain no connection logos, and store only encrypted data. Two groups said Anon Paste offers 256-bit AES encryption at the browser layer. Anon Paste supports a URL shortening feature and allows users to post up to 2 megabytes of text snippets at a time. Users can specify how long they want the text to remain available on the site. Anon Paste, which accepts donations via WePay and Bitcoins, was built using open source zero bin software which doesn't record the IP addresses of the uploader. Anon Paste uh, has a .tk web address and uh, can be accessed through PLF site. Anonymous said the People's Liberation Front said Anon Paste was launched after learning that the pastebin.com may move to censor content and pass on the IP addresses of people posting on its site to law enforcement authorities. Well, I'm sure they will. Everybody else does. It's ridiculous. And uh, Advanced Ethical Hacking and Cybersecurity Boot Camp at Delhi, India, coming up. Um, crazy. Maybe I should go to Delhi, learn how to hack. Outstanding. What else do we have for you? All kinds of shit here. Uh, tap logger Android Trojan can t- determine tap keys. Today's smartphones are shipped with various embedded motion sensors which ha- uh, which as the accelerometer, gyroscope, and orientation sensors. These motion sensors are useful in supporting the mobile UI inov- innovation in motion-based commands. However, they bring potential risk of leaking users' private information when they allow third-party applications to monitor the motion changes of the smartphones. You're surrounded, you're monitored everywhere. And a uh, U.S.-based website covering China's Bo Zile scandal has been hacked. Hackers are running wild. Uh, and hackers have launched, again, I might add, a DDoS attack on D.C. government websites. It's like an every month thing. They get together and just, just shut them down just because you can. It's that easy. You just decide they need to go offline, and they do. And last but not least, Specialized Trojan uh, can steal credit card details from hotels. So the next time you check into a hotel, a cyber criminal could be checking you out. A remote access computer Trojan, or RAT, designed to steal credit card details from hotel point-of-sale applications is being sold on the underground forums, according to the researchers from security firm Trustier. Trustier is the world's leading provider of secure web access services, according to this post, detected uh, the schemes and says, hotel poaching is a viral trade in underground and tech forums. Attack codes can be purchased in Visa underground forums for $280, and the spyware cannot be detected by antivirus software. So that's the news that happened over the weekend. Much love. Be safe. We'll see you again on Wednesday.